So this question was asked in NEET PG 2023 and the question says that when there is low insulin to glucagon ratio, which of the following enzyme is stimulated and your options are lipoprotein lipase, hormone sensitive lipase, phosphofructokinase 1 and glycogen synthase. So this type of questions have been asked multiple times in NEET PG uh, exams even in INICT. So let me break this question into a very very simple format. So first you have to understand is what is this insulin glucagon ratio and once you understand that then the next uh, part of the answer will become very very clear. So we know that insulin is a anabolic hormone and glucagon is a catabolic hormone okay. So when the insulin will increase glucagon will go down this is one situation and when the insulin will decrease glucagon will go up. So this will lead to a low insulin glucagon ratio and this will lead to a high insulin glucagon ratio very clear whenever insulin is going to increase glucagon is going to decrease whenever insulin is going to uh, decrease glucagon is going to increase and this is what is called as low insulin glucagon ratio which means in low insulin glucagon ratio the insulin is low and glucagon is high which means the body is in a fasting state on the contrary when the insulin glucagon ratio is high this means the body is in a fed state so if you understand this the next part of the question is very very easy so low insulin to glucagon ratio here means that the body is in fasting state is everybody clear about this now if the body is in the fasting state it simply says that which of the following enzyme will be more produced or stimulated so obviously we can rule out glycogen synthase because glycogen synthase happens when there is more you know uh, uh, glucose in the body phosphofructokinase 1 it is the main you know enzyme uh, regulatory enzyme for glycolysis again glycolysis is favored by insulin okay so this can be hormone sensitive lipase what is the function of hormone sensitive lipase we all know that glucagon stimulates hormone sensitive lipase and what it does whatever stored fat will be there it will break that uh, you know uh, fat into free fatty acid and glycerol which will be available for the metabolism so this definitely is going to be stimulated in fasting state what about lipoprotein lipase this is also a lipase now this lipase is very very unique because it plays a key role in hydrolyzing triglycerides but this hydrolysis happens when the free fatty acids had to be taken up by the tissue so when there is excess free fatty acid in the body that is transported to the peripheral tissues especially heart muscle and your adipose tissue so you have to understand the difference between lipoprotein lipase and hormone sensitive lipase hormone sensitive lipase whenever the body is in the fasting state more of hormone sensitive lipase will be produced by the stimulation of glucagon so that whatever stored fat is there that will be released but lipoprotein lipase whenever the body is into a fed state all the extra fat will be taken to the peripheral tissue okay and on the peripheral tissue what will happen this lipoprotein lipase this is specifically present in your capillaries blood capillaries there it will take out the fatty acid and get it stored in your three organs especially your heart your muscle and your adipose tissue so this lipoprotein lipase is more you know concerned with deposition of fat in your body and this is more in your fed state so after going through the question we know that the correct answer is hormone sensitive lipase again this is a very very frequently asked concept and if you know this concept almost in any examination you will be able to crack one question which generally comes on this topic